Ah, movie magic. Ain't it a thing of beauty? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 crazy behind the scenes shooting tricks that will blow your mind. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. For this list, we're looking at the most ingenious, left field, and daring ways in which filmmakers have achieved iconic shots in film and television. So prepare to have the illusion ruined and your mind blown simultaneously. Number 10. Two Long Takes, 1917 The idea of 1917 being shot as if in one take, well, two takes technically, intrigued the hell out of film fans, but more specifically, movie makers. There is no better way to tell the story than with one continuous shot. How do you pull that off? Well, with a lot of practice and finesse. Although the likes of Alfred Hitchcock successfully incorporated continuous shots into movies like Rope in 1948, Sam Mendes' 1917 takes things to a whole new level. From the first moment I talked to Sam about the idea of it as a one-shot movie, I knew it was going to be really immersive. The hidden cuts are meticulously hidden, with the cameras keeping up with the action on foot, by Jeep and by motorcycle, sometimes all in the same take. If we're not clever about this, no one will get to your brother. I will. Actors rehearsed scenes rigorously, pacing out how long dialogue would take, with the sets being designed to accommodate both the distance they would travel and the size of the cameras. Number 9. Speed Running – Avengers Infinity War With all the action in Infinity War, it's easy to forget just how much work goes into each individual shot. Get out of here! For example, remember that scene in which Captain America and Black Panther outrun everyone, where they burst ahead of the pack with inhuman speed? It's easy to assume it's CGI, but in fact it isn't. The filmmakers used a series of cables that essentially lifted the actor from above, like a zip wire, and pulled him from the front. How much longer should it? I've barely begun, brother. You might want to pick up the piss. In fact, a similar technique was used for 2008's The Incredible Hulk. This gives the illusion that the characters are moving quickly across the ground. All the actors have to do is run as fast as possible to complete the illusion. Yeah. Number 8. Skydiving Cameraman – Mission Impossible – Fallout Walker, we got a problem. There's a storm and we need to… Enough talk. I'll see you in Paris. With movie effects, sometimes the simplest solution is in fact the answer. Like, how do you capture the perfect shot of Tom Cruise doing a halo or high altitude low open jump out of an airplane? Get a camera guy to walk backwards out of the plane with a camera on his head, of course. Although in essence it's a simple, albeit terrifying idea, it still took the crew a lot of rehearsing. Over 100 practice jumps, in fact. Falling at 200 miles an hour, and he's to position himself so that he lands exactly three feet away from the camera with 20,000 feet beneath him. The risk of a mid-air collision we were really concerned about. Add to that the special rehearsal wind tunnel they had to construct, Cruz's bespoke helmet they had to build, and the fact that there was only a three-minute window per day to film. And you have one of the simplest but most complicated and most awesome action shots ever. I can't wait for an audience to see this. I still can't believe we got it. Number 7. The T-Rex is real. Jurassic Park. When Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park hit cinemas, its combination of practical and computer-generated effects blew people's minds. And without a doubt, one of the movie's defining moments is the T-Rex attack. Seeing the T-Rex for the first time, wow. I mean, what an impact. The size of the teeth, the way the eyes could move. It was incredible. Still to this day, the realism of the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the scene holds up. And that is mainly thanks to the fact that they used a real T-Rex. Or at least a real puppet, that is. The movements were so smooth and so authentic. You know, when it would snap its head around, it didn't, it didn't have a recoil. The head would go as fast as you can imagine and would come to a complete stop and look right at you, and his eyes would stereo focus right on you. In fact, two models were constructed. A full-body, 12,000-pound, latex-covered, hydraulically-powered animatronic dinosaur, and another model with just the head and torso, with the latter used for close-ups to help sell the terror of the reptile. 
Nowadays, CGI tends to reign supreme, but Spielberg proved that combining both practical and computer-generated effects is the winning formula for a film that stands the test of time. Number 6. Rigged Car – Children of Men Alfonso Cuarón's Children of Men features some of the most claustrophobic and engrossing examples of single-shot sequences in cinematic history. But this scene in particular, featuring a surprise attack on a country road, was surely the most technically exhausting for the filmmakers to craft. Emmanuel Lebesgue, the cinematographer, came up with this unbelievable piece of machinery that allowed them to cover this 12 minutes of film basically without a cut. The camera seemingly defies physics by floating around the interior of a car, catching all of the action, from fleeting bad guys to gruesome deaths. This was achieved with a specially designed car, which had the roof removed and a man driving at one end of it like a go-kart, while the crew sat around the action. The actors' movements were carefully choreographed to work around the camera. And basically, in this configuration, we can put the camera anywhere inside of this moving vehicle and be able to look around 360 out the window and never see any rigging or be bothered by any uh, obstructions. The car seats had to work on hinges so they could duck out of the way when necessary. Number five, set change, kidding. You see, the stuff I like about you isn't the stuff on the outside. Say your hat or your shiny new shoes or even the friends you keep. What I like about you is the other stuff inside stuff. Time lapses are always cool, but time lapses in real time are something special. In this scene from the TV show Kidding, we're taken on a journey as a woman's life and apartment goes through a series of significant changes as time passes, all in one take. And camera! Using close-ups of a TV to mask the action behind the camera, the crew works with impeccable timing to change numerous elements of the scene, from the wallpaper to the furnishings. Even the clothes of actor Ricky Lindholm change before our eyes. And we even see her dog grow up. The end result is truly jaw-dropping. Hey, you. I like to call it Grace. And Grace... Number 4. The Vertigo Effect – Vertigo Committed to pushing the boundaries of filmmaking, Alfred Hitchcock experimented with many different revolutionary camera techniques in his movies. One of the most iconic effects he popularized was the dolly zoom, or as it's sometimes known, the Vertigo Effect. This effect was famously used in this scene from the 1958 movie Vertigo, where John Ferguson fearfully stares down towards the ground from the heights of the tower shaft. The effect is achieved when a camera operator walks towards a subject and slowly zooms out, or vice versa. In Vertigo, a scaled model of the building was actually used when capturing the shot, but the effect is still the same. The method has influenced filmmakers everywhere, from Steven Spielberg in 1975's Jaws to Martin Scorsese in 1990's Goodfellas. Number 3. Spinning Hallway – Inception Similarly to Spielberg, Christopher Nolan is a big fan of practical effects, sometimes going to mind-boggling lengths to get the shot. And speaking of mind-boggling, 2010's Inception is among his most ambitious works both psychologically and visually. In this dream sequence, two characters fight in a hallway, but gravity shifts, with them fighting on the walls and ceiling. All of this was achieved with strict choreography, a few wires, and a huge rolling hallway set that was turned as the actors fought each other. It looks like we're jumping on the ceiling and stuff. In order to actually get it done, I couldn't think of it that way. I had to think of it as, this is the ground. Okay, now this is the ground. Capturing the scene was another thing altogether, however. The camera was essentially suspended on the end of a huge telescoping arm, and the only lighting available was that provided by the wall lamps and light bulbs you see in the scene. Number 2. Forced Perspective – The Lord of the Rings – The Fellowship of the Ring You're late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. 
Unlike the isolating green screen fest that was the Hobbit movies, which, believe it or not, reportedly almost saw Ian McKellen quit acting for good, the Lord of the Rings films predominantly didn't employ CGI to make its Hobbit character small in stature. Instead, they used forced perspective. This saw Hobbit actors placed at a greater distance from the camera, with set designs accommodating for their placement and giving the illusion that they were side by side with the actors who were closer to the camera. Props of different sizes, like smaller or larger scale tables, were also used. The end result is a life-sized Gandalf and a pint-sized Frodo. Cool, huh? We keep it hidden. We never speak of it again. No one knows it's here, do they? Do they, Gandalf? Doesn't this just make you want to go and re-watch all these movies just to see if you can see how they did it? Or at least to marvel at the finished product? Like, honestly, 1917, for example, was so impressive, I can't imagine how hard that must have been timing-wise. And the movie is amazing. I really cannot stop talking about how good it is. Anyway, our top pick is an iconic effect that started a trend in cinema, so let's look through some crazy honorable mentions, and then we will blow your mind with our number one choice. Number 1. Bullet Time – The Matrix Come on, admit it, we've all tried to imitate Neo's bullet dodging at some point. But how did they do it on camera? Well, that's just it. It wasn't just on one camera. It was done using a lot of cameras all at the same time. The Matrix popularized the effect known as bullet time, an effect that seemingly freezes or slows down the action, giving us a 360-degree view of what's going on. This was achieved by stitching a series of different photographs together, which were taken within milliseconds of each other, and sometimes by up to 120 separate cameras. This ultimately resulted in the filmmakers getting one fluid, wraparound slow motion shot that looks physics-defying and undeniably awesome in several different iconic scenes of the movie. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.